Best day ever. We are going to just steal Maria Emmerich. I know she's got to be exhausted, but we cannot let this privilege pass us by. We're going to grab her and get to talk to her. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy Kitas. Kitas. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Kitas, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us at different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Now, some days are better than others. Yes. Some days, you get to do the coolest thing ever, and that is talk to Maria Emmerich in the flesh. Yes, yeah, so Maria Emmerich right now is in the other room finishing up a conversation with somebody. We're gonna get grab her. We tapped her on the shoulder, we're like, we really need to talk to you. I know you just got done talking for an hour on stage, but- We don't wanna miss the privilege. But some of our subscribers aren't here, yeah. and we want them to hear some of what you said. So we're gonna go grab her, we're gonna go over to the other room, and we're gonna have a nice conversation with Maria Emmerich. What a privilege. We've got Maria Emmerich, we had to grab her. She just did an hour long talk. And it, it was, was not amazing. long enough for my taste, honestly. So we have been promoting protein since January. So we started eating like more of a one-to-one -one lifestyle. We are many years behind Maria, who has been promoting it and like getting it right it's for like years. the godmother of the keto movement. Yes. So no, let me let me let me get this clear. I was all about the protein 15 oh, yeah. 20 years ago, but then you know, I started listening to some very influential people in the keto space saying, no, too much protein is bad. And I was mm -hmm. like, oh, okay. And then I started thinking, you needed higher fat mm -hmm. to have higher ketones. And what happened was I gained weight, my clients gained weight, and my husband's like, go back to your roots. Let's show this. Higher ketones don't mean better fat burning. Mm -hmm. it, it's just a demand process. So he's like, go back to your roots. And so I did, and that's when... I got back to my fighting. Like people tease me because I'm so small, but I can run marathons around everybody. Yeah. I have a lot of energy. So if my energy was bad, if my hair was falling out, then I get concerned. Right? Yeah, of course. Yep. So if you don't know who this is, this is Maria. You've been under a rock. And Stop. yes, <laughs> and we have talked about for years that here's the problem: people use macro calculators, and they're basing it on well percentages of calories Percentage instead of grams fail. of fat and grams of protein. So why is it more important to be looking at the grams of protein and the grams of fat? Percentages will just cause you to fail because depending on how much you are eating, you know, like say you're eating, you know, 3000 calories, but you're only eating 20% carbohydrates. That's probably like, I don't know how many, hundred grams of carbs, it's a lot, you yeah. know? So, Instead of focusing on percentages, because that's going to be skewed, you want your own personal macros to get your personal caloric count, your personal protein grams, fat grams, and carbohydrate grams. Because everybody's different. Our lean mass is different. Right. And so that's why we did a personal calculator mm -hmm. that takes that into account. It took a lot of money, but Craig's like, I think it's worth it. So it is absolutely worth it because yeah. it's a total game changer. Like, why should we be believing that we should have the exact same macros? Yeah. All three of us together, yeah. right? Like, and our different. activity levels are different. Absolutely. Our goals are different. So if your goal isn't weight loss, it's going to be different. If your goal, you know, if you're breastfeeding, if you're pregnant, or, you know, whatever it is. Yeah. And our activity level too, you know. So why more protein now? Well, because my presentation was all about where are the nutrients at. Mm -hmm. The nutrients are in the protein, and that's what we are meant to eat. If you look at fats, I'm not saying don't eat any fat, but there's no nutrients in it. Like some vitamin A, but that's it. Yeah. And when people, especially women, start doing the keto diet, and they're doing high fat, not low protein, moderate protein, whatever, they start losing their hair. I lost my hair. They're, Absolutely. They, their thyroid sucks. Our skin looks terrible. Yeah. That's like protein has the amino acids for hair growth, for your nails. I mean, your nails say a lot about you, and your hair says a lot about you, and your skin. And so 
getting back to where the nutrients are, that's most important. Okay. The coolest thing about you though, is that you make it fun. You can still have kids and do this lifestyle and enjoy things because you make such delicious oh, recipes. You. Now you have changed the entire world with your bread and I have to know what was the motivation? Where did you come up with that? So, I mean, I, I'm a foodie. I don't want to eat chicken breast and broccoli. Like I just don't. Yeah. And I like bread and I like cinnamon rolls. And so I just, being a baker at my, you know, no, earliest, like I would whip egg whites and make meringues and stuff, and I just kind of experimented with that. And I didn't want to use protein powder, but you know what? It's just dried egg whites. Yeah, it's really is. not protein. Yeah. You can dry your own egg whites. Yeah. So it's just, you whip the whites, you add the dried egg whites, and honestly, what hurts my feelings is when I work so hard on a recipe and then people take credit for it. Yeah. Oh my that, gosh. That recipe probably it took me five years. It to had to have. I mean. And then you tweaked it with the allulose. And that and, just and it's nailed a game it. Change. At least in my mind, it's a game changer. And someone even said they eat it added less, only one tablespoon, and you still get that soft crust. Mm -hmm. So. It is. It, I mean, it's just amazing and it's just so versatile. And when you made the long loaf where it was like sub sandwiches yep. are even back. Yeah. I mean, it was just so refreshing. Or like the meatball sub? Yeah, yeah. oh my it's gosh. Just, that's the stuff that I grew up on. I love Subway. I love meatball subs. Like, I was like, we can still have that type of stuff. Sure, it takes work, but we prioritize everything in our life. Yeah. That's right. You prioritize where your kids are going to go to college. That's right. What car you're going to buy. You know, why would we not prioritize what we're going to eat that day? Yeah, exactly. To me, it's just, that's the first thing. Like, I make sure that my family eats well, because guess what? Then I'm a better mom. Yeah, you are. That's right. Um, I'm a better wife. Like, my kids are happier. My kids aren't going, like, bonkers with all the sugar or, like, whatever. It's just... That should be like the first, that's the first layer of making the day wonderful. And it tastes good. So it really does. Getting back to the percentage for a minute, because then I have to, I'm going to put you on the spot for something. But I was talking to Dr. Barry about this the other night, because you saw, I'm sure, the article that came out a couple weeks ago from some ridiculous journal saying that keto causes diabetes, right? I'm sure you saw that. And my whole thing was I started thinking about it, and I was telling this to Dr. Barry, is that if I looked at my diet pre-keto, when I was eating hamburgers with french fries and, and you know, uh, blooming onions, I bet you have looked, if you looked at my diet back then, I was eating more fat pre-keto, oh, yeah. grams of fat, than I do now. Yet, they all complain about that. And what's the difference is, I've just cut out the calories from carbohydrates. So I looked at grams, I'm probably lower or the same as I was. But more importantly, you cut out the trans fats. Correct. And the very unhealthy fats that nobody's talking about. Mm -hmm. That's right. So. And it makes such a difference. I mean, just how you feel. Mm -hmm. Like the, the scrutinizing of ingredients is just so important. Now we're getting back to school and you've got your beautiful kiddos. And I was wondering, because moms are packing lunches and they're trying to figure out what is something fun that if I'm trying to reduce the sugar and trying to get my kids into something new, what is what is a fun go-to, what is a, a, a lunch that your boys really enjoy? Well, I'm gonna push my new sugar-free kids cookbook. We're gonna give away one of Maria's cookbooks. Right now. Sugar-free kids cookbook, Halle Berry wrote the foreword. She's amazing. How cool is that? And there's a chapter on kids' classic lunches there's bento boxes in there. There's a chapter on holiday fun. So even the holidays, how to make them fun, how we make them fun. Um, my kids really like my Italian chili. Okay. It's dairy free. It tastes like pizza in a bowl. And Sounds like something I want. <laughs> yeah, right. So <laughs> my husband's awesome. He homeschools them. But when we do go to like activities or like a, like a camp thing, I'll make it in a. I'll put it in a thermos. And it stays warm. They say it's yeah. still warm at lunchtime. Wow. That's awesome. And so that's something they really like. They love my gummy bears. Um, so I'll pack those in the lunch. So there's still snacks and fun stuff in the lunch. It's not like, I mean, they'll trust me, it'll be more tradable yeah. if you're making her stuff. I have no big granola bars. I have, I mean, you name it. So we're going to put a link for the book down in the description. And then we're going to give one away. And here's what you need to do. You need to like the video. You need to subscribe to our channel. And then you need to leave a comment down below and then we will do a drawing and we're gonna put all of Maria's information, how to get to her website and everything, but I gotta put you on the spot before we leave. 
I don't know if you've heard, there's this really weird trend going on right now. It's called like the protein sparing modified fat. <laughs> you never heard. It's of like it, a have brand you? new thing nobody's ever talked nobody's about. Nobody's ever before. talked about it. And you talked about it a little bit during your talk, but a lot of these people weren't there. And what I'm seeing that's concerning me is people eating these super high 180, 200 gram protein days with 20 grams of fat, that's 30 grams of fat. That's how protein. And they're here. doing it four, five, six days a week. Well, first of all, that's not protein sparing. Mm -hmm. There you go. Um, protein sparing isn't 200 grams of protein. It's about 800 calories of pure protein. Okay. Um, you're gonna lower the fat to about 30 grams and the carbohydrates to close to zero as possible. Um, and you're gonna do that two to three days a week. If you're very obese, you can get away with it more. Okay. But I'm talking like you have at least 100 pounds to lose. Okay. But then you still want to do like one overfeeding day. And when I say overfeeding, I'm not talking about Pizza Hut. Right. I'm talking about, um, and a lot of times staying dairy free the whole time of your journey is important. It, it, it mm -hmm. makes a huge difference in how you feel. I have a perfected, easy, easy to make, um, protein sparing meal plans that pair, they're all dairy free. So they're, they're regular calorie days and then the protein sparing. Mm -hmm. um, so you could really hammer it hard and in a month transform your life. Um, but it's not an everyday thing. It's not an everyday thing. And That's what not, I'm trying to get through to people because it's not an everyday thing. And it's not high protein. It's hitting your protein goal, which nobody is. Right. right. It sounds high because you're not used to getting and what is appropriate. Never ever drink your protein calories. I don't count those. Yeah. Okay. I just don't. Like, okay. I mean, it's a treat, mm -hmm. but I, I'm saying like when, here's the problem. People will just be drinking shakes or whey protein mm -hmm. all the time. Yeah. And I want them to actually have steak. You know what I'm saying? Enjoy the food. Yes. Yeah. But, yeah. Okay, so one more question since we talked about keeping the carbs as low as possible. Big controversy, you know, in keto. Allulose, are we counting the carbs? Swerve, are we counting the carbs? We're total carb people. We tell people, put... Whether you want to do net carbs or total carbs, put a cap on it so that you don't overdo it. Because your bread, I'll eat an entire loaf. Oh, sitting. easily, it's delicious. And I don't think that that's really the intent for me to eat a quarter of a cup of allulose in a sitting. Well, my the bread I use is just the egg whites. It's just the egg whites. Right, I don't use allulose, but allulose and swerve are not absorbed in the intestine, so you can subtract those. But I do count fiber. Okay. So it's just with the allulose. If you do too much, you're probably going to have some stomach trouble. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, but try only one tablespoon. Okay, I'm going to try that. And eat the whole loaf. And eat the whole loaf. Yes. Okay, in, I'm going to try that. In the form of French toast. Oh my Ooh. gracious. Ooh, that sounds good. So this is a perfect, don't miss out on her cookbook. Oh, thank mm -hmm. you. You've got to check it out because that's a big, that's a big hardship. If you have other family members that are not keto, that can really stall your own journey because you're having to make multiple meals. I'm not a short order cook. Exactly. Thank you for saying that because I say that to my boys and so I'm like, see, see guys. But I eat like a kid too. Like I want French toast. They want French I want toast. French toast. For dinner, French toast with some fried eggs for yeah. dinner is like my jam. This, so it's possible. She's making delicious recipes that the whole family can enjoy. No one's gonna feel deprived. No one's feeling like they're left out or not the cool family. They're gonna be the coolest family in town if you switch to her cookbook and how her Okay, so is. I have to make a confession. I never know your website because I just go into Google and start typing Maria, Maria and it shows. I, don't yeah. mean, I can go Maria Aww. E and it shows up. If you so what is the actual website keto maria.com keto maria.com if you go there you'll find all of my information see the one i was in it maria Miriam? maria mind body health yeah that's the one i, I started blogging about. way before blogging was cool i could have picked keto.com at that point <laughs> right. oh my gracious and you're like but, dang it you know here i picked this whole you know mind body because i do think it's about mind and body yes. and everything but if you go to keto maria.com okay you'll find my blog everything. and you'll find my website and you'll find my youtube don't Everything miss is out down on the family. In the Just Aww. seeing the family together. When any time that the boys were, were doing a recipe with you, it just warms your heart. Aww. You just need it as a part of your day. I remember having like little kids now. Now they're grown kids. We're living vicariously through yeah. you Our raising youngest the boys is 20. Now. Our oldest is 24. Yeah. So, so it's just I, like. Have you watched the or read the book Tuck Everlasting? Oh yes. Where they drink from the well and they see that age. Yes. I, I wish I could do that right now because I really like their. Um, they're the perfect age right now. Ty's gonna be 11 like in a month so 11 and 12 I really like 
I mean, we played like fun games. Yes. And you can like, have real conversations with them. And like you have interests together. So it's like you'll watch a movie and they'll watch a movie and you can talk about it. It's awesome. I know. Guys, Maria Emmerich, thank you so much. Make sure you go follow her on Instagram and on her YouTube and on her Facebook. Go to the website. We're not if you me. like seeing videos like this, check out some of the ones we have linked down here. Also, check out our most recent video. That's going to be over there. But don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click and the little bell icon. Yes, oh my goodness, um, because that way you'll be upload. You'll be notified anytime we upload a new video. Bye, guys. Bye, bye. Follow.